it's a kind of rooting factor in my life, which is really a nice thing when otherwise I could easily just be like sucked into this kind of maelstrom of mad kind of constant hair and makeup, basically. Um, <laughs> so it kind of gives you a sense of kind of picking yourself up and carrying on and it makes you able to deal with failure and with the fact that no matter how much work you put into something, you know, that isn't a formula for success. And it makes you quite dogged. And also just to kind of don't expect too much. So it's a, a focusing and a mindset thing that you have to change a lot, which I, which is an interesting thing to try and do. I'm not very good at it yet, but, you know, riding cross country, you have to be a lot more kind of aggressive and um, kind of attacking and you're more likely to get hurt. So there's more of a kind of like survival element to it that you've got to just, <laughs> yeah, you've got to come back um, alive. But then I like the fact that you have to be you have to be able to change your mindset and to address our stuff. You have to be measured and you have to be kind of very focused and kind of very precise. I'm just I don't know, I just very I like to be able to do things with a certain amount of success. But then I you know, I never win of anything and I never do well particularly. So um, it's not that I'm desperate to win always and I get in a strop if I don't win. I just like to do, I like to feel like I've done it well, so. I'm also quite in awe of people who can do things in a relaxed way. <laughs> so unrelaxed. <laughs> you can't put horses under huge amounts of pressure, even though you might be kind of like, can perform, do your job, you know what to do, just do it. You have to be kind of sympathetic and empathetic towards this creature that has actually got no idea why it's in a dressage arena and why you want it to like point its left toe out and stick its nose one way and like, you know, it's not natural for a horse to do that. I, I, I want to kind of keep progressing up the levels with eventing. Everybody who's like on the Olympic team, they're all in their 40s, mostly anyway. So I feel like there is still hope left. <laughs>